Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Students, in our previous session we talk about this little bit introduction about the Google Map. And in this session we are going to learn that how we can generate the API key which is very much important part of the mobile application development program then we want to integrate the map in our application. We are, I am going to also show you the live demo for that. Okay, so just watch this video till the end that the steps to generate the API key and run the map application with integration of Google Map. Hi everyone, once again, this is our instructor Janice Shah. So let's begin to understand that what do we mean by the API key, how we can integrate it and how we can use it in our program. So students uh, move towards the next uh, is like uh, generate the steps for the API key. So just try to go to the, this particular website which is written over here. It's a http s colon slash slash developers.google.com slash maps slash documentation slash android dash sdk slash start. This is a website where you will get a whole documentation process to generate the API key as well as how you can integrate it over that. But I am going to show you each and every step in details. So what I we need to do over there? See, they told us first we just need to open our Android Studio and create the new project. Whenever they ask to select the activity, then we just need to select the Google Maps activity over there. See, there are two different ways over there. One is you can directly select the Google Maps activity, and second one is you may select the empty activity and convert that empty activity into the Google Map activity. So, what step we want to choose that depends on you. But in this session, we are just going to select the basic Google Map activity and move further. So here, I am just opening my Android Studio and selecting this particular Google Map activity, the new project. My project name is Google Map Demo. Then, when we are just generating the project, the gradle starts building up and it will create this particular screen towards me. So this is nothing but it's a google map api.xml file. So this particular google map google underscore maps underscore api.xml file this file contains your api key data. See this part is a particular string name where you need to add your api key. But how we can integrate the API key that whole documentation is written over here in this particular URL. That URL is console.developers.google.com slash flows of blah 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 blah. You just have to copy this particular URL and paste in the browser and open the whole website. Now let me just paste it and open it and show you that how it will look like. See. Here for this I have already created one project over there but for you I am going to create a new project with the name like test project Janice Shah. Then I am just selecting my organization. See I have organization like lgq.edu.in because I have created this particular project with my own email id. Google facilitate you the 11 or 12 projects quota. I have already created two different projects. So it might be possible I get only the 10 projects left. Okay. Sorry, Google gives you the 11 projects. I have already created the one project. This is the second one. That's why it shows me that there are only 10 projects left in a uh, particular storage. So let's click on the create. You can also left this particular if you do not want to write the organization then it will be fine for you as well. Now next. See after creating the project first you just need to create the project students. After creating the project you just need to create the API key. Students here the API key can be created by clicking on the credentials. So students you just need to uh, when I just open up the credentials so here what we get. See in this particular screen we get the credentials icon over there. So you just need to click on the credentials menu. Okay when you click on the credentials menu you will get this particular screen and you can open up this particular plus create credentials button. 
The credentials, various types of credentials are there. Let me show something. So when you uh, click over there, you may found the API key, authentication client ID, service account and help me choose four buttons are there. Here we just need to create the API key. So just click on API key button only. Now next, it will automatically create the unique API key for your project. So what you need to do, you just need to copy this particular API key and paste it in that particular XML file. But wait a minute, if you directly paste it over there and try to run that application, you might get error just because after generating API key, you just need to enable your Maps SDK for Android button. So how to enable it? Let me show you. So what we have students, here you just need to click on this particular icon, then move towards the API and services over there and find out the library menu for that. By clicking on the library menu, what you get? You get the Maps SDK for Android. This is a SDK. So whenever you try to generate the API key and integrate in your Android smartphone device, you need to click over the map SDK for the Android and make it enable. If you want to integrate the Google map in your iPhone or I can say iOS devices, then you can click over the maps SDK for the iOS and make it enable for the iOS devices. Fine. So here we just need to click over here like maps SDK for the S, uh, Android and make it enable so by clicking on the and make it enable now you can copy this particular key and paste it over there students you will get like remember to configure the auth consent screen with the information about your application you may skip this particular step for the learning purpose because it might get uh, it might be asking you for the payment and the credit card details and everything details to authenticate the particular key with your project but for the learning purpose we do not uh, need to worry about it we can directly copy this api key and that in our project and use the google map as per our uh, requirements fine so do not worry about it do not worry about this yellow icon you can directly just paste uh, copy this particular api key and paste it over here so this is a google underscore maps underscore api dot xml file and I have just pasted this particular key in between of this string data or I can say string tag. So my API is successfully uh, copied over there and now I can easily run the application. So how to run this project? How it will look like? This all things will be clear in this particular live demo of generating API key. Okay, so just stay tuned with me. Uh, I'm just opening my browser and opening the Android project as well and starting creating the API key. Students, just for a benefit purpose, I am going to create this API key with my new email ID or I can say new Gmail account. Fine. So what you need, you just need the Gmail account to create this API key and integrate it in your project. So students, let me just open the new project. My Android Studio is taking some little bit amount of time because so many softwares are currently working in my uh, laptop. So now uh, I just need to select the activity over here. I am going to select the Google Map activity for our project. So I am just selecting the Google Map activity. Click on the next button. Write down the project name is like uh, Google Map Live Programming Demo. And selecting the languages uh, is a Java, minimum SDK is uh, 21 and the Android version is 5.0. And now click on the finish button. So it will take some amount of time and the project will load soon. So students, let me just open up the program first. Here file, new, new project. Selecting the empty activity. No, we are, what we are going to select is Google Maps activity. Click on the next, the new, it's a Google map live project demo one. I click on the finish button. Now it will take some amount of time to build the gradles and the project will open soon. So students, finally our project is ready. So what we have, 
let me just show you that we have the java file inside the java file we have the maps activity it maybe you can consider it as a main activity for java, java file okay so here we have just a uh, bind our google map with this oval see this is the on map ready method it will going to show you that the latest location of sydney so already sydney's lat long is already given is minus 34 and 151 this all thing is already there whenever you try to select the google map activity fine so this is add marker this is a position is a marker in sydney so add marker is a method which is used to set the title or i can say title of the particular marker and the camera factory new lat long sydney this method is used to animate the location like uh, it, it goes like this the add the marker like and pinch over there the sydney on your map now on the thing other side what we have inside the resource directory in the layout file we have activity underscore maps this is a same as the activity underscore main dot xml file but here what we have we have this fragment with us which id is map so in this particular fragment we are going to bind our map how we have i have already written over there the com dot google dot android dot gms dot maps dot support map fragment this thing already is there whenever try to create the project android is automatically write these all things for you and inside this manifest.xml file you can see the permission for the fine location is there if you want to uh, go with the chorus location and the internet yes we need to give the permission for the internet as well so let me just add the permission like uses that permission and is for about the internet so fine location and internet permission i have already given to this and what were the other things we have see we have the metadata where the com.google.android.go.api.key is written over there here you need to specify your meta value of api key so now the question is sir how can we generate the api key see whenever you try to open up this particular project you may found this file very first the url is already given instruction is already given over there so let me just open up this thing in my new browser so just wait for a minute so as i have already told you that i am going to open up this url in my new gmail account where i did not create any android project before so it will give me the same screen as like you so i just copied and pasted it over here so i had just wait for a minute Right. so i had just copied the url and pasted it over here now if you do not want to copy and paste it by creating a new project what you need to do you just need to open like console.cloud.google.com fine so in this console.cloud.google.com by clicking on this okay you may found this particular uh, screen over here click on the welcome genius agree to the cloud condition agree and continue and the steps are also written over there see like uh, just do the google write down uh, how how to integrate google api key in my android project so you usually give this developers.google.com okay maps sdk this is the url where will i have already first shown you in the ppt so first just open up the google map open up the credential page in the credential page you can generate the api key so before that okay so we already have this metadata maps.api key in our project these all instructions are there 
for the project which is uh, contains the empty activity then you are going to convert it into API fine but the credential page will remain same so let me just go to the credential page directly so it will be redirected to the console.cloud.google.com so this is my credential page if you want to go from here then you can also go like this just click over here okay click the api and click on the credentials so from the menu then go to the api and click on the credentials so here first you just select a project space. see i did not create any project so i need to create right now so it's a janis shah live project so this is my project name that i want i want to show you just wait for a minute so it is searching for that we can create the new project okay so just to create the new project from here so let me just write down it's a uh, see you have 11 projects remaining in your portal okay so my project is a uh, janice shah live android project it is asking me for the select the organization i am not going to select anything just click on the create button now after creating the project what is your next step your step is to create the credential or we can say the api key so it will take some amount of time to create the project so now my project is successfully created now what i need to do over here students i just need to click on the credentials and inside the credential let me click on the create credential button it is asking me for the api key auth key service account and help me choose we are just going to click on the api key and generating the api key see this is my api key i am going to hide this from my video so let me just uh, copy it and paste it in my project so this is the live demo project one students when i'm going to paste it over here just try one thing you just need to try uh, this api key and paste it over here okay so now your task is done now you can just run your application and test it see i'm not going to run it right now but try it yourself just run it the application now and test it and let me know in the comment that what is going to be happen over there right see whenever you try to run the api by the first time and run the application you uh, your map will not load successfully why because we need to enable the map sdk android button from our library part okay so i am going to do click on the library part go down and find out the map sdk for the android okay so let me just go over here this is the map sdk for the android part click over there and now map your maps for the native android app yes i want maps for my native android app so clicking on the enable button you need to do this process again and again for each and every project you can create multiple api key for the same project you can create the multiple projects up to the 11 or 12 i think so in your google account okay so these are the things that you need to learn so now my project is enabled for the api key is enabled now again going for the credentials so this is my credentials okay now you just need to copy it over from here and paste it over that in your project see this one uh, suggestion is there that api key is unrestricted see you can uh, authorize your key that no one can use this key uh, in other projects so for that you just need to do the authorization you can do it by yourself you may, you may found the various videos on the google to how to do the authorization i'm not going to do authorization and show this process because for the learning purpose we if we do not go with the authorization the things will still easily run okay so let me just copy this particular key from here and paste it in this particular screen so now students i've just pasted my uh, key let me just uh, show you the code again so this is my fragment.xml file activity.maps.xml file where i have created uh, the fragment is automatically created the class name is com.google.gms.maps.support fragment is a class okay and the id is map 
Now, this maps activity file is using view binding process to bind the data. If you know that what we are going to do is we are just going to give the ID over here in activity underscore maps or XML file and bind that particular layout over there in the Java by writing a simple thing like uh, it's a Google map. Okay, now let me just uh, by just binding the support fragment. Okay, like uh, I can say the fragment activity, uh, fragment activity, and then you can bind like this like a fragment activity is equal to find view by id r dot id dot map. Fine, so you can also bind like this. Done. So this is how students you can bind a fragment. But if you do not want to go with this, uh, the Google provides some another way to bind your fragment. We'll see this how to bind the fragment uh, in our normal way uh, in the next upcoming video tutorials. So don't worry about it. Google is using the view binding process where they need to implement uh, extra fragment activity, implement it on ready callback method, and they used to get the activity binding binding object. This binding object is inflating the layout inflator and set contain group from the get root. So this is how you can bind the data. Now, when we talk about binding process, so this is support fragment, map fragment is equal to support fragment, get fragment manager dot find fragment by id r dot id dot map. So you can do this. See, this is the same link where we can do support map fragment sp. I'm just creating the object over there sp is equal to get support fragment manager dot find fragment by id it's r dot id dot map so you can also do the same process over here okay let me just click on the alter enter wait a minute Are, sorry wait a minute students okay then so this line and this line works as a same okay so this is what that we need to do or we usually do with our projects so i am not going to say this again okay because this android is by default is using the view binding process now what we have in the next thing so map async so map fragment inside the map fragment object you just need to uh, map, generate your map and when you get map async method is called the on map ready method is uh, created. It is just the lat long is a class. Sydney is the object. We are creating a new lat long. Latitude and longitude is already given over there. Map dot add marker. Add marker is work as a pointer, and you can mark options dot position. Set title is marker in Sydney. Then M map dot move camera. By using this method, you can move the camera and look pointed at the Sydney. Now. Let me learn this. Let me just run this code and show you the output that how it works. I am also going to show the output without writing the API key. And okay, so you will get the idea that API key is a very, very important part in the Google Maps. Fine. So here API key I have already written over there. Because this is my particular key. Now let me just run the code and show you how it works. So this my phone is already connected over over here now let me just click on the run button run this application and show you the output that how it works so just wait for a while the gradle will start building so it's a launching the activity and when you see it is showing me the sydney location let me just zoom it and show you that it's all about the sydney c right so when you try to click on this marker, it will show that Sydney again. See the marker in Sydney. This is how we get just because with the pointer. Now let me just get the location of the uh, lat long, lat long for Iskon Cross Road, Ahmedabad. okay it might be i get the location that long for that just wait for a minute so let me just take the side uh, location wait a minute 
Redis Hospital, Let Long, how to just we need to click on the right click. So this is the Let Long. Copy the Let Long and now paste it over here. So let me just paste it like this. Control C, Control V. Now copy it and uh, remove the Let Long under the inside the data and just need to pass the Let Long. Okay. So I've already passed the let long over here and let me just click on marker no it's Ahmedabad or I can say MAD live or we can say Android live marker fine now just uh, let me just run the application again and show the output it should uh, show us the Zydus marker over here it is asking me for the terminate the application so let me just terminate the app and launch successfully let me just show you so application is launched successfully so see let me just zoom it so we'll get the better idea so here in Ahmedabad so here is our location where what we get see we get the Zydus nearer to the Zydus when we click over here it will show the android live marker fine so students this is how you can create the google map if I... so students that's it for today's lecture students in this lecture we have seen about the google map api integration and the steps for that also we have run our created one project and show the output if you have any doubt then please feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.